how to add annotations to the viewer window in the edit section of DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4. With your edits window open, using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, ensure that the red playhead on your timeline is positioned at the frame that you wish to add annotations to. Click on the arrow next to the transform tool underneath the preview, select annotations, use the stroke tool to determine the thickness of your line, and choose the colour of your annotations from just under the timeline title. Click and drag your mouse cursor on the preview window to manually create an annotation. An annotation reference and the point on your timeline that this is applied to will appear in a label just towards the top left corner of your preview. You can also find the annotation marker in line with where your red playhead is positioned. At present this annotation only applies to one particular frame. In order to spread the annotation across more of your video clip, double click on the appropriate marker on your edits timeline. Above the properties where the colour and the title of the marker can be changed, you will find the duration box. The number 1 on the right side here indicates that this particular annotation applies to a single frame. In order to be able to expand the presence of the annotation on your preview screen, change the 1 to 2 or a greater number depending on how long you want the annotation to remain on screen for. Bear in mind that when using the play button, the annotation will disappear from screen completely. In order to ensure that the annotations remain on your preview screen, click and drag the white rectangular timeline reference icon just below your preview screen. Click and drag on an individual annotation to move this manually also. Click elsewhere in the preview to deselect the annotation and click back on the line to select it once more. If you wish to add specific shapes, an arrow, straight line and rectangle tool are also available. Bear in mind that all annotations are stored under the same marker. With this particular point on the timeline selected and if you press backspace or delete, the marker will be removed along with all the annotations stored within this. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.